Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arissa and this is Arissa Root Art. And I am trying something entirely new today. <laughs> And I don't know how it's gonna work, but I wanted to experiment a little bit. And so I'm doing, uh, I'm not gonna name it because whatever, I don't know. I'm taking this cup. It looks like it's gonna be an open cup. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I have these cut pieces of PVC and I'm gonna put them in there like this. I'm gonna layer my colors in the PVC, but around the PVC will be white. And I'll put a little bit of white first in the PVC. And then before I pull this up, I'm going to take these out and kind of inject the color into the white. I have no idea, <laughs> but I wanted to try it. And I wanted to try something that I haven't tried before. And so this is it. And I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but I didn't know how I would get it done. Now I, I cut these myself, so I know they're not completely flush. So I know I'll have some paint leaking out of the bottom and that's okay because I'm gonna, I put the white in first. And so hopefully it'll seal or do something. And so for my white, I'm actually using the Artist Loft Soft Body White because I kind of want a pearl effect to this and it's super, I just got rid of my stick, but I want to show you the consistency because it's super runny. So super runny mixed with um, Floetrol and water. And then I, for my colors, I'll show you those. Let me get rid of my stick for real now. I have Aztec Gold, and the colors are slightly thicker, I think, than the water, or the white, and I'm okay with that, too. So this is Aztec Gold by Sargent Liquid Metal, and then I have, how oh, do I want to keep my order like this? I think I'm going to change my order a bit. Yeah. Then I'm going to use the Violet Rose by Color Art, the Prism Pour line, and then... I think I'm going to do my, this is the, what is this? This is, where is my color? Oh, sorry. This is the greenish blue by Amsterdam. My gosh, that was a hard thing. And then I have Chantilly Lace by Color Art, their prism pour. And I have Peach Dahlia by Color Art. Prism Pour again, and then I have Quinacridone Nickel, or I'm sorry, Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics. So I'm also gonna add into those things a little bit of a white and um, black cell activator just because I'm experimenting, so I might as well go all out. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is put that in there. I'm gonna layer these in here. I'm gonna put just a little bit of white on the bottom so these can sit in white. Just that. And then I'm gonna put these in here and into them, I'm gonna pour some white and I'm gonna hold them down and the cup down so the colors don't float, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna layer the colors and you will just see what I do because I don't know, I'm just experimenting. So I'm gonna put a lot of white in the, there. See, did white stay in there at all? <laughs> Maybe not. Ah, I'm gonna put a little more white because I think a lot of it went out. So I'm gonna put a little more white in each one. And these, I did clean them on the inside and out and dried them on the inside because I did cut them. So I made sure I skimmed, I got all the loose bits off. So I'm gonna go with some gold. And it's a dirty pour because it's so deep that I can't possibly float these colors on top, unless I really just have them slide down, but I don't want to lose so much of the color by having them just slide down the tubes, you know? Put a little bit of white cell activator. Oh, I should have opened them. I'm doing this one-handed now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't open them and I am one-handed now. That's what I'm gonna get. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna go unscrew in this. <laughs> oh my gosh, Arissa, I'm such a dork. Maybe I just won't use white if I can't get it. <laughs> it's like a challenge. All right, I'm only gonna use a black cell activator. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna go with my greenish blue by Amsterdam. And then my Peach Dahlia. Chantilly Lace. Ooh, the color's coming out a bit, but it's okay. I think the bulk, the bulk of it is staying in. And then my quinacridone, maybe. If not, then I'm doing a weird, funky open cup, and that's just what this is going to be. Now, I think I'm going to try to straighten those out a bit. Ah! I just let it all out, but I'm going to throw some more color down on the, in the inside of this cup because I really want to inject it like that. That was just ridiculous. Ah, it's so messy. That's a lot of paint on there. So I'm going to let it do what it's going to do for a moment. And I'm going to torch it. All right. Then I'm going to tilt. And let's see what I got. I'm going to go through it a little bit with this white. Let's see. And throw a little bit of color. Just layer it up a little bit and see what I get. And you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm just experimenting and playing here and I completely lost my whole little thing there. I'm going to take my blow dryer here and just give it a really quick puff. this out and see what happens it's a lot of paint on this canvas oh I should have used a bigger canvas but I still want to see what this does and I'm not going to stretch it so much that it does pearl up necessarily because I love the colors and I want them to be vibrant which is why I didn't um sorry want them to mix immediately with the white but I want to see what this is going to do a little bit more here get that off of it wow it looks really cool actually and that chantilly lace on there looks really awesome i'm gonna go over this side just a bit wow it looks really cool i feel like somebody's at my house are there trick or here I don't know, I can't tell, but I can hear somebody downstairs. My daughter's down there, so I hope they're trick-or-treaters. All right, so I'm gonna get my corners covered here. It looks really cool, actually, and I like it. I definitely wanna try this again with something that's formed more, so I don't um, necessarily lose. Hold on. Yes, kiddo. Oh, What's up? Uh huh. You can open the door. Hi. You're just gonna be on film a bit, but yeah. What's up? Okay. Oh hey. Did you not read the song? No, I didn't. I knew I heard voices, but you know. Did I hear the voices? Yeah, there's a lot of cars outside. Oh. Well, I like that painting. Like Thank you. So, you know, I'm I'm keeping your voices on this video. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be down in a minute. I'm not going to. I'm just doing this really quick one. Those were two of my kids. Uh, one just got home from a friend's house. She spent the night. So anyway, I really like this. I'm going to give it a quick, quick torch. I don't want to do too much. Just get the bubbles out. I really like it. That looks really cool. I like this little injection technique, but I'm going to try it again. Definitely. I'm gonna give this a little bit of color here and just maybe blow it off a little bit. There we go. Yeah, 
I like that. Anyway, I really like how this came out. I think that because it is that um, soft body, it's gonna pull around, across around, off the edges like that. But I actually am really fond of taking a gold paint pen and creating a boundary. So if it does that, I may just scrape and paint the sides and create the boundary um, in a gold paint pen. Because I really actually like how that looks. I've done it a couple times on some paintings where I was doing more uh, thinner paints and it pulled away like that. So that's a good way of trying to account for that if it happens. Just getting a paint pen and creating a boundary on the edges of those canvas on your of the end on the edges of your canvas but I am going to let you guys I'm going to stop the video and get you down on the canvas so it's definitely going to pull away from the side so I will definitely do the paint pen but I love the softness of this and so let me turn off the camera and I'll show you what I've got for you so you see it will pull off the edges like that and that's just that artist loft paint so I'm going to end up painting the corner the sides of this probably white or gold and so it won't be a big deal, but I really love how soft this is. And the sparkle in that from that Chantilly lace uh, spreading over everything is beautiful. I love this. This is so soft and gorgeous to me. And the color stayed really vibrant, which is what I wanted. So that helps. But I love how this looks right here. This is amazing to me. And if you throw resin on top of this, oh my gosh, it's gonna sparkle so much. Oh, look at that. I love that Aztec gold. Like watch it in the middle there sweep again. Ready, ready? Lights on. Oh, I love that. And that's with the peach dahlia too because it's got an undertone to it of gold and those colors together are just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like it, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you like. Um, Please share my videos. I'm trying to grow this channel. I would love it if you guys would subscribe if you're not subscribed. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.